one second here. Just going over some of the notes from my previous patient. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. So, I'm Dr. Nice Guy, sometimes called Nichigi. And I think this is your chart. I'll just go over that. Michael, is that your name? Michelle? Okay, I see. I had the wrong one, I'm sorry. Okay. So, let me just go over some of these questions quickly. Um, could you just confirm your date of birth for me? Okay. Yeah, that looks about right. And are you currently on any medication? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you drink any alcohol or smoke any marijuana? No, I'm not. I'm not judging. Don't worry. I'm just asking because I just want to get a complete profile of your health. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to do just a little bit of an eye exam after I do your vitals. So I just want to ask, are you, do you wear any glasses or do you use contact lenses or anything like that? Okay. Now I have a question. Are you diabetic? Do you have any pre-existing heart conditions or, okay. And I think that's everything. No, I'm, I'm not going to ask anything too personal about your diet or things like that. Mm -hmm. But did you have any questions for me before I get started with today's exam? Your pee is very yellow. Well, I will have to collect a urine sample after this, but I can assure you that yellow pee is not a problem. But if you do feel that it is a darker color than normal, then that's just a sign of some small, slight dehydration. So all you have to do really is just drink more water. Mm, yeah, I know some of my patients don't really like water. Um, but I do have a recommendation. You can get these little squirt bottles that are called the liquid flavor enhancers. And don't worry, they don't have any sugar or anything in them, but they do have some more interesting chemicals. So don't go too, too crazy with using them. Um, so for about a cup of water, just maybe like a half a squirt. It gives it enough flavor that it's a lot easier to drink down. And then soon enough, you'll be drinking enough water. So your pee will be more clear. Okay, well, so I'm just going to take a quick look at some of your vitals, and then I'm just going to do just a quick eye exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it does mention somewhere on your list that you have been complaining a bit of eye problems. Mm -hmm. Like eye strain, are you getting any headaches? Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. So I'm just going to put this down. So I just like to take a quick listen to your heart just to make sure that everything's in tip top order. Okay. I'm just going to slide this up behind you. It shouldn't be too cold. Okay, I want you to take a deep breath in. Okay, hold it. And exhale. Okay, I want you to do that again. A deep breath in. Hold. And exhale. Go on and take another deep breath in. 
and hold it and exhale okay another breath in hold it and exhale okay just gonna slide this up the front sounds good. Your lungs sound really fine too. Let me just put this over my neck rather. Okay, so so now I'm just going to quickly check your blood pressure. Just give it a quick little looky. Okay. Not too much pressure. Okay. makes it kind of warm inside for your hands.
going to do a very quick check of your ears. a really quick and simple hearing test. So I'm going to wiggle my fingers and I want you to let me know if it's this ear or that ear. So this ear or this ear, okay? going to make sure that you're able to understand things through hearing. So I'm going to whisper a series of numbers right directly into your ear, and I want you to just repeat them back to me. Okay. So 
I'm going to check your ocular response to see if the muscles in your eyes are working. Because you did mention that you were experiencing some eye strain. That's correct. So what I'm going to do first is to check if your pupils are constricting and dilating properly. So I want you to look right at my nose, right here. And nope, just look straight at my nose. And I'm just going to shine this light into your eyes. Okay. Did you feel any strain or pressure when I was doing that? No? Okay. So, I'm going to check your ocular muscles. So this time, I want you to just follow the light with your eyes. I'm going to go slowly, so this is going to be a nice, relaxing experience for you, hopefully. But if it is starting to bother your eyes, please just let me know. Okay? Okay, so is there any pressure or strain around here at all? Up here? No? Okay. Well, lastly, I'm just going to check to see if you're having any vision problems because sometimes eye strain can, or rather vision problems can contribute to eye strain. Okay, so it's just a series of some quick tests. This here is a Snellen chart. It is what optometrists use, so you might recognize it. And what I want you to do is to read each of the lines as I point to them. And don't worry too much about these bottom lines, because I'm not checking to see if you have perfect vision. I'm checking just to see if this is going to cause you any strain, okay? Mm-hmm. 
It's okay, I'm gonna try. Mm-hmm. Last line is a bit of a doozy, don't worry. So now I'm just gonna point at a couple of random letters and I just want you to read them. scissors, but cut is fine too. It's a bit harder. A bowler hat. Like that one. Yeah, it is kind of like Egyptian hieroglyphs. So do you have any pain or tension? No? Okay. So I do have one final eye test I want to administer. And it's just to check if you're colorblind. So nothing too, too hard. So just tell me if you can see the number. It takes a little bit for it to come into focus. That's okay. Yeah, these ones are a bit trickier. and for your soul. TikTok anytime is bad for your soul. No. But um, you should really probably calm down on that. You know, at least in the evenings, because that's probably what's contributing to your eye strain. But I don't see anything too wrong with your eyes. However, an optometrist might be able to give you a bit more of a better opinion than I am able to. So, mm-hmm. So, I am going to give you a referral to see a doctor. 
just about your ears because there is a bit of inflammation inside of them. That's okay. I'm going to suggest that you go see Dr. Sarah. She's really good at doing ear examinations. That's her specialty. Including a lot of different surgery too. Okay, so and take that. So just bring that referral to the receptionist at the front and she will help you book an appointment with Dr. Sarah. And the other thing I want you to do is I just want you to give me a quick urine sample. And if you're able to, you can do that on the way out. The receptionist already has the notes, so she'll hand you the cup. But if that's something you're not able to do, you can do that later and bring it back with us within a couple of days. Mm -hmm. When we do prefer to have the urine sample right away as soon as you produce it. Like, don't put it in your fridge and then bring it, but whenever is more convenient for you. And other than that, you're pretty healthy. I think you're in good shape. We're just having Dr. Sarah check your ears because we just want to make sure that everything's working, you know. But I think you're going to be okay. But you are in really great shape otherwise. Mm. So did you have any other questions? No? Okay, well, I look forward to seeing you again soon. It's a pleasure as always. All right, well, take care. Bye.